snafu. You okay? Not for the year in the tropics wouldn't fix. Much damage. You should see the damage, bronze, huh? <laughs> Metal damage. Brain damage, huh? Are you listening, bronze? I am the night rider. <laughs> I'm a fuel injected suicide machine. Discuss it, I came to say. I'm through. Now, just a minute. All right, so the goose bought it. But that's the way he always came at the world. Max, he'd be the first to admit it was long overdue. All right, I'll tell you how it is. Max, you're on the top shelf. And I'm not going to lose you because of some crazy notion about quitting. Remember, remember one thing that is more than just a tanker of gas. That is our lifeline to a, to a place beyond that vermin on machines. That's 2,000 miles from here. How do you expect us to get it there? Drag it! If we have to, yes, there's always a way. But the first step, defend the... Words. Just words. You die for a pipe dream. We fight for a belief. I stay. I wish you could have worked, Papagello. You can't expect to compete with that. Every day we get weaker while they get stronger. It's finished. I'm sorry. Two days ago, I saw a vehicle that had hauled that tanker. You want to get out of here? You talk to me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Save it. I'm just here for the gasoline. Take me back there.
take it real easy. That's as far as you go. Turn around. Nathan! Nathan! It's Nathan! Hurry, get the stretch! Lose them. Open the gate! Hurry up, Nathan! Stretch up! Just stay there. Cover it. Cover it. Come on, quick, quick. Okay, watch his leg. Oh, my God. 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 Warrior, Auntie. Lost everything. Looking for a deal. But he's just a raggedy man. He's quick. And Bob? Do you think he can do it? Maybe. And what did you do before all this? How is it called? A driver? But how the world turns. One day cock of the walk, next to feather dust. Play something tan tan, something tragic. Do you know who I was? Nobody. Except on the day after. I was still alive. This nobody had a chance to be somebody. So much for history. Anyway, water? Fruit? the audition.
Ain't we a pair? Raggedy man. <laughs> Goodbye, soldier. Jason dropped a friend off because he'd been called in for an audition. So I drove him, dropped him, and then I waited for him in the waiting room with the girls at the casting agency. But I'd had a very bad weekend. I got into a brawl, and I didn't come out looking too pretty. I sort of took on half a rugby team, and it was just, it didn't work out too well on my end. So I was looking pretty bad. They took Polaroids, because I was like, really, every color of the rainbow, and they put them up. And they said, man, we need freaks in this film. He says, when, when you heal up, come back and see us. I was a young actor, and nobody had a job, and I thought, what the hell? Um, so that was an attraction enough. It could have been a commercial for toilet cleaner. I would have gone for it, you know, to earn a buck. So I went back, and they said, and you are? You know, about two weeks later, I said, that's me up there on the, on the wall, because they have these pictures of me. And they went, oh, my God. And, they, you know, they sent me in, and I uh, talked to George Miller. He just kind of gave me the part right there. It was real weird. He said, can you memorize this? And it was like two pages of dialogue with a big speech and stuff. And I was like, yeah, sure. So I went into the other room and I just kind of got a gist of what it was. And I came out and just kind of ad-libbed what I could remember. And I guess they bought it. Just can't get it clear of my head, Jess. 